Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome to a new episode of the science class And this is a lesson, science video lessons for year 3 In a normal situation where we go to school You can ask science questions to your teacher But you can't really do it now because we cannot go to school so I open a channel, a TikTok channel for you to ask me questions if you have science questions, science related questions follow me, Cegoroni and you can send me a message or you can make a video and tag me in your video tell me your name where do you study? What's the name of your school? And ask me a science question. And I will try to answer as best as possible in my TikTok channel. Okay, moving, moving on to our lesson. We usually start with Doa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbishrahli sadari wa yasirli amri wa hlul ondata mini sani yafkahu kawli. Rabbi zidni alma warzuni fahma wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa sallam walhamdulillah rabbil alamin Okay moving on to the topic we are still under unit 1 grouping animals but this week our topic would be describing animals so our objectives are to describe the animals using the characteristics of the animals that we have learned in previous lessons. So what we need to do this week are to talk briefly about previous lessons and then to describe the characteristics of animal. Okay, moving on to describing animals. Like I said before, that we recap our previous lessons that is about grouping animals. So this grouping of animals, there are five topics that we have learned. Three here, another two here. So we start with how animals move. So we have learned that animals move in five ways. When they want to move from one place to another, um, there are animals that use either one of these ways. The first one that we have learned are some animals can walk and run. Example would be um, cat. Uh, some other animals can swim like um, whale. Another types of animal, another group of animals, they can jump. And then another group of animals, they uh, fly. And then another group of animals, they crawl. So we have learned that. So another topic that we have learned is about animal body covering, which is divided into three groups. Some animals are covered in hairs or furs. Some animals are covered in scales. And some animals are covered in feathers. Okay? So another topic that we have learned is grouping animals by what they eat. So grouping animals by what they eat are divided into three groups. The first group would be herbivores and then carnivores and we have learned omnivores. Herbivores means animals that eat plants only. Carnivores means animals that eat animals only. Omnivores means animals that eat both plants and animals. And we also learn about grouping animals by where they live. Now for this topic, we have learned that animals can be grouped into three groups. Some animals, oh no, no, four groups. Some animals live on land. Some animals live in water. Some animals live both on land and in water, and some animals live on tree. 
talking about where they live last week we have learned grouping animals by their habitat their habitat habitat that we have learned are uh, we have learned uh, some animals live in a desert and then we have learned that some animals live in a savanna and then we learned that uh, some animals live in tropical rainforest we also learn that animals live in some animals live in tropical coral reef and then we also learn that some animals live in the arctic okay moving on to the lesson which is describing animals so how do we describe animals now so using the characteristic before this this one this is called characteristic what we have learned here using this characteristic we shall try to describe animals okay example this one so as we know that this is an animal okay, let me move this is an animal we start with describing its name so the name for this animal would be and then moving on how animals move how this animal move so you should able to describe how this animal move based on what we have learned and then we talk about um, identify the, its body covering and then we try to identify what this animal eat and where it live and what is their habitat its habitat what is its habitat so we start with the name here so this animal is an elephant and this animal can walk and run so this is one characteristic this animal elephant elephant walk and run okay and then um, elephant is covered in hairs or furs excellent and then what elephant eat elephant is a herbivore elephant eat plants only okay where does elephant live elephant live on land where what is its habitat elephant usually live in a savanna so this is how we describe animals based on the characteristics that we have learned the name how it moves body covering what it eats um, where does the elephant live and what is its habitat so we have to make this into sentences not just uh, identifying the characteristic but change it into explain it into sentences okay so how do we do that okay how do we describe animals in sentences so we have name this is an elephant simply simply write that this is an elephant so how does elephant move it can walk and run so what is elephant body covering elephant it is or elephant is or it is covered in hairs or fur so what does an elephant eat what is an elephant if we group it based on what they eat it eat plants elephant eats plants it is a herbivores okay let me move this way oh, sorry now elephant eats plants it is a herbivore excellent okay now uh, where does elephant live elephant live on land and what is its habitat it lives in savanna so this is how you write 
describing animals in sentences. This is an elephant. It can walk and run. It is covered in hairs or furs. It eats plants. It is a herbivore. And then it lives on land. It lives in savanna. So for animals, we can use this letter it, 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 it. We can also write elephants can walk and run. You can also write that elephants can write or run. But then you can change elephant with it, I T. Okay, understand? Now we try again with another type of animal, which is this. So we start with its name this way. Okay. We start with its name, and this would be an Arctic rabbit. Excellent. And then how this animal move? It jump from one place to another. And then what is this animal body covering? It is covered in hairs or furs. Hairs or furs. So what does this animal eat? It eats plants, so it is a herbivore. It eats plants only. So we call it a herbivore. Where does it live? Rabbit live on land. And where, what is its habitat? Where does this animal live? Habitat, its habitat would be in Arctic. That's why it is called a, an Arctic rabbit. Okay, excellent. In sentences, we shall describe it as like this. I've prepared you uh, the sentences like this one. So... This is a Arctic rabbit or Arctic hare. It can jump. It is covered in fur. It eats plants. So it is a herbivore. Herbivore. Why no S? Sir, why no S here? Here. Why no herbivores? Because it's only one, one herbivore, many herbivores. And it lives on land, and also it lives in the Arctic. Let's try another animal that is a name. A tukan. And then, move, how it moves. A tukan fly. What's a tukan's body covering? Covered in feather. What does a tukan eat? Tukan eats both plants and animals. Where does a tukan live? Tukan live on trees. And what is tukan habitat? Tukan live in a tropical rainforest. So you need so you need to transform this into sentences. Write the sentences like this one I prepared for you. Okay. This is a tukan. It can fly. It is covered in feathers. It eats plants and animals. It is a uh, omnivores uh, it is an omnivore and then omnivore no s okay omnivore okay excellent it lives on tree and then it lives in tropical rainforest excellent see sometimes you have to research if i give you a question you need to research that in the internet whether the animal uh, mm, herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. This is a bit tricky. What, what animals eat is a bit tricky. 
so you need to do some research in the internet okay i hope you understand this week's lesson to describe animals based on the characteristic that we have learned these few weeks so this week exercise would be to read the notes that i have given you and do the exercises pr provided through now for this week i've used new mm, new type of exercise that is using live worksheet live worksheet so you have to press the link and just type in the empty boxes in live worksheet answer the question okay okay you can print out the save or save the notes and keep it in your files or stick in your science book okay um, let's recap week 9 lessons we can describe animals by how they move their body covering what they eat where they live and what is their habitat so this is how we describe animals excellent so thank you for watching year 3 science video lessons so if you have questions you can message me or tag me through TikTok. This is my username at Jigoroni. If you are new in this lesson, in this channel, okay, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share this video with your friends. Now, um, this lesson, year three lessons, is the same in all in Brunei Darussalam. We are learning the same thing so thank you for watching thank you again for watching this lesson i am chegoroni and we will see you again with a new topic next week assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh